What's up, my beautiful people? It is the one and only Rosie with E Asylum here in Times Square, New York City. I hope you're ready for us because you're in for a real treat. Don't you dare change that channel and stay tuned with E Asylum, your entertainment a lo loco. Hello, viewers. I want to play a little game. The rules are simple. Watch these next set of interviews with the cast of Star 4. Live or die. Make your choice. Allow detective. The games have just begun. Lionsgate and Twisted Pictures are at it again with their fourth installment of the popular bloody and gory franchise, Saw. I promise that my work will continue. Last time we thought it was over, but according to Jigsaw, you are wrong. Saw is back with new traps, new twists, and new characters. She's definitely not a femme fatale. She's a, um, she's a really solid human being, you know, who pretty much lives her life to help people. And um, she's very much in love with John. My character, uh, Special Agent Peter Strom, is called in uh, by local law enforcement. Uh, they call FBI. My partner and I come in in order to aid. Uh, our liaison, who's been working with this department, has been killed. Our job is to follow the trail of breadcrumbs that Detective Rig is leaving uh, behind and trying to follow that and get to the accomplice. So what is it about these sequels that makes Saw so popular? Because they're smart and you know you have to really really follow along and get all the clues and they just you know get all your senses going with the gore and the traps and the blood and the endings are so twisted and you know you're not expecting it and then you have to go back a couple times and say how could I not have picked up all these clues and what's going to happen next and I think they're just really smart and really cool. It's classic horror film. It, it, it suspends the audience disbelief. It, it, it scares the hell out of everybody. And what type of twisted traps can we expect? I don't know what we can talk about. Yeah, I don't think we can talk about much. How about how about the eye gouge? The can, eye we gouge. can we say eye gouge? That machine was so diabolically horrible. I mean, my God. The chair one is pretty cool too. The chair it's was cool. pretty cool. Uh, it's not the most sick, I but it's cool. That. I got I have a chair like that. And how does actor Tobin Bell feel about Jigsaw stacking up to Freddy Krueger, Jason, and Michael Myers? Great, I, because they were successful. To be mentioned in the same breath with them is uh, is a great thing. If anybody wants to put me uh, on a shelf with uh, with people who have achieved something in this business, I'm happy to be there. So, is this the end? As long, you know, the the thing that's been best about this film is that. No one's lazy about anything. Everyone's very dedicated and works very hard. If we continue to do that, I think we'll be in good shape in terms of moving forward, because there's a lot of story left to be told. You heard it from Jigsaw. Saw 4 is now in theaters. Saw 4, the games have just begun. You spell abstinence. Abstinence. A B S T A N C E. I think. I need a spell check. Yeah, that's wrong. Abstinence. Oh, nah. No? I don't know abstinence. No abstinence. This is college. <laughs> I don't know how to spell abstinence. I don't think anybody on campus knows how to spell abstinence. Spell abstinence. You know that one. Wait, A B S. Wait, T-E-N-C-E? -E? That's a nice try. It's wrong. <laughs> Abstinence. A-B-S-T-I-N-E-N-C-E. -E. Damn, she got it both right. <laughs> Give her a shirt. <laughs> Hey guys, Stephen Fabian here with another WTF News. Transformer star Shia LaBeouf was recently charged with a misdemeanor criminal trespassing after drunkenly refusing to leave, of all places, a Chicago Walgreens at 2.30 in the morning. It looks like Walgreens isn't just the only late night hotspots for celebrities though. Rumor has it Lindsay Lohan was recently seen pounding Red Bulls in aisle three of a local Target and Paris Hilton's One Night in a CVS Bathroom DVD is set to hit stores this holiday season. Dennis Rodman, the former flamboyant rebound champ of the NBA, has expressed interest in 
coaching his former profession, but not with the men that he used to play with, but rather the women. Rodman has recently been open about wanting to coach in the WNBA and seems to be considered a serious candidate, not only because of his knowledge of the sport, but also because he can help his players off the court with, you know, makeup, hair dye, wedding dress shopping, all that. I'm Stephen Fabian for WTF News and stay right here for more on e Asylum. Now this next segment is for all those fans of horror. Check out our own Saima Martinez as she interviews the lovely, gruesome finalist of Horror Fest in New York City. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Saima, and I'm here at the Miss Horror Fest competition, ready to talk to some of the finalists. There are four finalists vying for the title. Countess Bathory, Mistress Malice, Nixon Suicide, and Sweet Dead Sarah. But the question is, why do they want to be Miss Horror Fest? Well, I have loved creepy dead things since I was a little, little girl. Today is the day for vampires and the undead to speak out. It is time for us to be in more fields than just politics. Take part in other horror fans and give them a good story and give them something fun to listen to. I mean, come on, that's fun. Because I am the best screamer of the group. <laughs> what they win is $50,000 and a contract to represent After Dark Films for one full year. Now tell me, what are you going to do with the cash prize if you win? Number one, pay off food job. Relax, travel a little bit, maybe pay off some bills, and start maybe working in film a little bit more. Number two, pay off a credit card. I would pay some of those doctor bills, but I also have a small debt I owe to my dear friend, Dr. Hannibal Lecter. Number three, uh, go to Mexico. It gives me a chance to learn about uh, promotion, learn about what happens behind the scenes at After Dark. And then number four, be just responsible and pay off all the other stuff. I really just need to pay off stuff. Now if you want to find out who's the queen of Scream. Oh! 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 oh. Log on to YouTube.com for all the Miss Horror Fest results. For e Asylum, I'm Simon Martinez. Do not, I repeat, do not move because we have so much in store for you only on e Asylum. Coming up on e Asylum, Vince Vaughn's Red Cross, Celebrity E-Buzz with Simon, and Hot Girls in Bikinis. All this and more only on e Asylum.